What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you four different ways to export your video in Final Cut Pro 10 for Instagram. All right, so if you want to export your video for a square feed post, all you're going to do is right now we filmed this clip here, which is the source video. It's 1080, which is 1920 by 1080, and the frame rate is 29.97. That is the minimum that we definitely want to save this to Instagram. 30 is really what you want to aim for. Anything higher than 30 is fine, but you want to bring this down to 30 or 29.97. Anything less than 29.97, Instagram is just going to decrease the quality or compress it. What you want to do is you want to go into the settings here. Now, instead of creating a new project, you don't really have to do that. All you're going to do is select the actual clip. Go into the inspector tab over here, and they're gonna hit this little eye icon, and you're gonna see this is the current project settings. So it's at 1920 by 1080 with this frame rate at this color space. We're gonna hit modify, a new window will appear. Give this a name, it doesn't really matter, but here you have video, so this is important. So right now it's at 1080p, and this is fine if you wanna save this as it is. Go to file, share, master file, and this is if you're gonna be exporting it just like this. You would go into settings, format, you would do computer, video codec, you want to do H.264, faster encode, so it kind of makes it a little bit of a, a smaller file size. Try to keep this as low as possible, by the way, because if it's a really big file size, Instagram is going to compress it even more. So resolution, we want this at 1920 by 1080. Click next and then save it to your computer. Now, if you want to save this to 1080p, which is a square video, all you're going to do is go back onto the project settings, go to modify, and you're going to go to video, and you're going to hit custom. You're going to type in 1080 by 1350. Now that's going to be tall Instagram, but what we're going to do is we're going to go for square. So we're going to do 1080 by 1080, or you can go into video and just select square and then just select this and make sure it's 1080 by 1080. This is the absolute minimum that you want to upload to Instagram. The frame rate, you want to keep this exactly the same here. Rendering, we want this at Apple ProRes 422. Anything more than this, it's going to increase the file size and it's going to make Instagram compress your video even more. So just select this and then keep everything the same and click on OK. So now you're going to see that the window here changes to that uh, dimension, which is a square video. Now you're going to select your video in the timeline. You're going to go to crop. And now this also applies for a compound clip or a grouped clip. It will apply to the whole entire video, just letting you guys know that. Uh, so just make sure that if you have multiple videos in your timeline, make sure that they're all in the same aspect ratio so it doesn't mess anything up. So you're gonna hit crop, you're gonna go to the, uh, you're, you're probably will have it set to transform. So select crop and you're gonna go into crop and you're gonna see now this takes place with the same dimension. So uh, you can see that everything within this window is gonna be shown. So if you click done, this will make it full screen and it will save it to that beautiful 1080 by 1080 resolution, okay? Now then you can just go back to file, share, master file, and you're gonna go into settings. You're gonna keep everything the same. For resolution, you want this at 1080 by 1080 and save it the same way as you would. Now, if you wanna save this for a taller Instagram feed post, you would go into, again, go back to the project settings, go to modify, and you're gonna to go to video, and you're gonna do custom, and you're gonna type in 1080 by 1350. So this is gonna be the width and this is gonna be the height. So 1080 by 1350. Frame rate, we want it to be 29.97. Rendering, same thing, click OK, and now you're going to notice that the window here also takes place for this kind of a little bit taller of a format. You're going to go back to crop, and you're going to see crop. It's still going to keep the same square dimensions as the previous settings that we applied. Just click reset, and then click back on crop, and this will make it so it's the same dimensions and click done. So now if you go back and push play, you can see it's a little bit taller and this is the more ideal way of actually uploading for Instagram if you're gonna be you know, using a music video or anything like that. So uh, that's one way of course. And then the other way is just a typical vertical 1080 by 1920 resolution, which is gonna be for Instagram story and for IGTV. For this one, what you would do is you would go back to the settings here in the project, go to modify and you're gonna go to resolution and you can either type in uh, 1080 by 1920, or you can go back to video and do vertical and make sure that the resolution is 1080 by 1920. For the frame rate, again, make sure it's the same and click OK. And now you're gonna see that it takes place here and this also keeps the same dimensions as the previous one. So we're gonna have to go back to crop and we're gonna have to reset that and click back on crop and click done. For this one, go to file, share, master file, and you're gonna go to settings 
And then here, again, make sure format is set to computer. Video codec is faster encode. Resolution is 1080 by 1920. Hit next and save it to your computer. Say his face is being cut off and you want that to be in frame. You can easily go back to crop. And if we have the crop enabled here, you're gonna see this is what it's cropping to. His face is out of frame. So we can easily adjust that by adding a keyframe here around here and add a keyframe and you're gonna go about maybe here we're gonna move this over his face so you click done so now when we go back and push play it'll kind of pan over to his face a little bit we can of course adjust the speed of this by right clicking on the video and going to show video animation and you're gonna see there's a couple of frames here for some reason this one goes back which is not what we want so we're gonna hit delete we want this to go back to the center so we're going to move this back here somewhere and if we go back you're going to see it's really smooth and the viewer won't really notice that so if you guys found this video helpful whatsoever please consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this and i'll catch you on my next video peace out